I'm Sheila from Bluebird Valley Art. Welcome to Acrylic Pouring. This video is just an introduction to my upcoming online acrylic pouring workshops in partnership with the Parrot Gallery. So I just wanted to give you a short introduction uh, as to what you can expect when you sign up for one of these workshops. Um, first of all, the, the, the first workshop is going to be the Ocean Pour. That's this one. It's done on a 9 by 12 canvas. And just like all the other works of art that I do, you can see behind me there's lots of different techniques. This is done with fluid acrylic paint. So um, in order to create fluid acrylic paint, I simply mix regular acrylic paint with a little bit of water and a pouring medium, and usually I use Floetrol. So there's a certain consistency that we want to create, and in your supply kit, you will find paints that are pre-mixed and ready to pour. You don't need to worry about the recipe, um, but I will tell you about the recipe in the video in case you want to experiment at home. So in your kit, you'll find things like, of course, a canvas, we usually work on a 9 by 12. Um, it's a good size for learning, not too small, not too big. Um, there will probably be some cups for layering up your paints into what I call a parfait. There will be mixing sticks, maybe a straw depending on the technique. For the ocean pour, yes, we need a straw to create the waves. And we also need a pipette to put the waves on top. Um, it's a, it's a lot of fun. And um, there will be push pins to insert into the back of your canvas. This one doesn't have them yet, but you get push pins and I show you how to insert those into the back of the canvas so that it remains elevated just a little bit from the workspace um, because there will be drips coming off the side. And you know, there's a little bit of mess involved, so I do provide also um, a plastic sheet that you put down on your workspace to protect your table. So yeah, um, pretty much that's what you can expect, those types of things in your kits, um, as well as all the paints will be, um, will be provided in little containers like this. Okay. So first one is the Ocean Pour. I hope you're inspired to sign up for that one. Then um, coming up later on, there will be a variety of techniques, um, possibly the flip and drag. It's a completely different technique. The uh, sunset, which is a little bit similar to the ocean, but with different colors and a little bit of a different technique at the end. And then as you can see behind me, there's a lot of different ones that, um, that I'm really happy to teach if you're interested. There's the um, bottle bottom pour, where we actually cut the bottom off of a pop bottle and then pour the paint on top to create a waterfall of colors around. Um, there's the Dutch pour, which is done with a hairdryer. This one is a little bit larger. That's a 10 by 20, but we would be doing a 9 by 12. Then um, up here, I have examples of the cherry blossom. This one is low mess. There's no drips to this one. The swipe. This um, involves a tiny drop of silicone oil as a secret ingredient. And um, the garden dip. This is actually a diptych. Two paintings. This is, this is completely different because it, it involves two 8x10 paintings which are sandwiched together and then pulled apart to create um, a garden painting. It's just like magic. Um, yeah, and then there's um, a variety, like the swipe can come in a whole different type. This is my Northern Lights swipe example. Um, but yeah, a lot of different ones. So I hope that I've piqued your interest and I hope that you will sign up for the first one, which is the Ocean Pour, coming up very soon. And, um, and then stay tuned for any other, um, anything else that you might be interested in. So for now, I'll say goodbye and happy pouring. <laughs>